today's installment of the Epoch video series, I want to show you how to get up and running with Epoch, how to install it in Neo4j Desktop and uh, the Neo4j Sandbox. So let's switch to Neo4j Desktop. After you start up Neo4j Desktop, uh, you should see your project view, and basically uh, you will probably have, have not so many projects as I do. Um, but something that's important is um, that uh, Neo4j Desktop is online, so it just should be green, and you should check that uh, offline mode is disabled. So let's create a new project uh, that we want to call uh, Epoch. And in this new project, uh, we create a new local graph that we call Epoch Test. We give a password, we select the latest Neo4j version. And after doing that, um, you have basically two variants of installing Epoch. Either you install it globally for all your graphs in the project, or uh, what I mostly do is I go to the uh, Manage uh, button here, and under Plugins, you can just see that it can find and download Epoch. And if I click uh, Install here, it will download and install Epoch into your into your database. What it basically does, it's putting um, at the Epoch jar into your um, plugins directory and also adds the config settings for Epoch into, into your config here at the end. Uh, so, and after you start uh, your Neo4j instance here, then we can open Neo4j browser. So it's running now. Uh, these are different ports. And now we can open Neo4j browser, and in Neo4j browser we can see if Epoch is installed. Uh, most easily, uh, it's you can do that with the Epoch help procedure. You just do call epoch.help. You also see already in type completion that it completes the procedure names, and you see also the parameters and the result columns, which is uh, important later. So we say epoch help, and then we, for instance, say meta. So any keyword from the epoch uh, functions or procedures uh, is possible. Um, and if I call this, then I see all the uh, metadata procedures for, for epoch. Currently, we have no data in the graph, but this will change really soon. You can also call epoch help without any um, uh, keyword. Then you see that it's all the 450 procedures and functions are returned here, and for each Procedure function, you see what it is, uh, the name, uh, description, um, and the and the signature. Uh, so the name with parameters and return types, uh, return columns as well, which you then yield, you use for yield. Okay, um, if we want to do the same in uh, Cypher Shell, we can do this. So we can, for instance, go here to Settings and call bin Cypher Shell. And uh, provide our username near for J, our password that we uh, gave, and then we can do call epoch.help and say, uh, for instance, meta again. Uh, don't forget the semicolon. And then you see here the results in, in this uh, textual view, which can be useful sometimes, especially if you import data or do longer running things, then Cypher Shell might be more useful. Okay, cool. Uh, if I want to do the same in uh, in the Neo4j sandbox, I can just log into the Neo4j sandbox, go to uh, neo4j.com slash sandbox, uh, so I can just log in. And then if I start my uh, any sandbox, it already comes with uh, Epoch installed. And so for instance, we can find the Paradise Paper sandbox and say launch sandbox. And it asks me about my company. And after a few seconds, uh, the sandbox is available, and we can uh, check if Epoch is working there. While we're waiting for that, uh, I can show you this is the uh, Epoch repository, so you can uh, raise issues here, for instance, or send us pull requests um, that are always welcome. Uh, there are different branches for the different Neo4j versions. And as you can see here, uh, it's also linking the Neo4j uh, Epoch docs, uh, which are here. 
and it has a lot of uh, information uh, with a lot of details but we go over most of this in this video series uh, only something that's quite useful is similar to epoch help there's an um, searchable table in here that you can use so you can uh, basically quickly find something also on the web page uh, when you look for something that you uh, that you want to do like refactor or create data or work with collections or uh, work with map maps or so okay so our sandbox is ready uh, we go to the new browser uh, so this should be the Panama Papers data and we see if we call uh, APOC help uh, it has all the APOC uh, procedures and functions installed uh, and while we can go over the Panama Papers data here uh, I can show you some of the meta functions so for instance APOC uh, meta uh, graph which returns us a uh, graph schema of, of this uh, database. So it's similar to DB schema, but it uh, fixes some issues that DB schema has. So you don't get like additional relationships. Leave you if you want to ask questions around APOC, join our Slack channel. Otherwise, for the repository URL, go to bit.ly slash neo4j APOC. And for more videos, you can uh, join our YouTube channel. Thank you.